Well, joining us is Dean Young, who believes not being taught to read early enough affected him in adulthood. How do you think it has affected you then? Well, obviously, being obviously young school, obviously going to nursery. In nursery, all you do is play with toys, you read little books. They don't actually have qualified teachers in there to actually sit there and train the, teach the kids on how to read and write. And obviously, I think it's a lot of the fix is when you go into reception, you should know quite a lot when you're going to reception, even though you're only two or three or four, you're still at that age where you can learn. So obviously learning is a big part of obviously coming out of the other end of it to actually achieve something. In your experience, when you were uh, in nursery pre going into reception yeah. at the age of four then, what, I mean, I, I don't imagine you remember much about it, but what have you been told was the experience for you? Obviously when I was in nursery, it was just like any normal child when they went to nursery. They got dropped off by their parents, they were left there for two, two and a half hours, three hours. You played with your books, you played with your toys and that was it. There was no actual... Did you do learn... much reading with your parents at home as no. well? Obviously my mum was a single parent, so obviously my dad left when I was two. Mm. So it was just her and five other siblings to bring up. So obviously she didn't have the time to sit there and do homework and obviously get, get the kids to do their homework and make sure they do everything at home. She just she didn't have the time to do it with reading, she didn't have the time to read either. And did you have any interest in books? Because I think that's part of the, the challenge, isn't it, really? That mm. you don't want to make very young children feel like they've been put off reading for life by being told they've got to learn to read in a strict way when they want to play. But is, was there anything done to encourage you to read, or did you have any interest at all in no, reading? No, nothing at all. Obviously, when I was in nursery, like I said, it was just playing with your toys and your books, and there was no encouragement to read. Did it play with books? Did when you flick through? No, it was did just, any of it interest no, you? No, no. And obviously, still look at it now. To look at it now at 31 years of age, it's still mm. there's still no interest in it because it just hasn't sunk in. Mm. And you, your your reading struggled throughout school and yeah. then into mm. later life as well. Now you've got kids yourself. I have got four. Yeah, you've got four kids, and uh, you've got an eight-year-old, Riley. Yep. Who, who has similarly struggled with a bit of reading. Yep. Has, has it been the same experience with Riley? Well, with Riley, it's obviously, like I said, obviously, we're younger parents. So obviously, back then when I was younger, I don't think it was more noticeable for the parents who obviously picked things up, all the teachers. Mm. But now, because I'm a younger parent myself, and my son went to nursery, we knew straight away that there was, there was, was something wrong with him. You know, he wasn't right. He wasn't like the other kids. He didn't want to... He didn't want to play with the kids, he wanted to stay away from everybody. But I think it's not about the reading and writing that you develop in school, it's about actually the person himself, because it doesn't matter what the person's like, it's later on in life how it comes out. I so, I yeah. See.